welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things aviation. Angela Jube here welcoming you back. Yep, we've been quiet for a little bit, but such is life. Sometimes we get so overwhelmed, sometimes we get pulled from A to B, we get assigned to different tasks, and some of these important um, you know, endeavors that we're making into the world of aviation get neglected. But we're back now, we're trying to record and trying to get back on track. Thank you for supporting us, thank you for staying true to this channel. Listen, in the past few days, there have been events that were very concerning to many people on the political front, in the economic front, uh, in the security front, in the international relations front, but most importantly, in the aviation front as well. We know what has been happening between Ukraine and Russia. We know the invasion of Ukraine by Russia happened in the past few days. Look, you can look at that situation from a different number of angles, from the political, from the economic, from whichever angle you want to look at. But my concern today is the issue involving the Antonov N225, the largest, biggest, you know, much loved, much lo marveled aircraft across the world. It's no secret that the N225 had a large fan base, a large following globally. That's why every city it would fly to, you'd find people ready, coming out just to do plane spotting for the Antonov N225. Until the month of February 2022, that aircraft was, you know, able to service the world, able to keep fans entertained across the world as it flew in and out of various cities across the continent, across this globe. But after the 27th of February, we got official confirmation that the AN225 as we knew it is no more. Rest in peace, AN225. This ambitious project started way back during the existence of the so-called uh, USSR, the Soviet Republics of old. So this was an ambitious project to actually build the, you know, the, a, an aircraft with large capabilities, capabilities that would enable it to, you know, to push the Soviet uh, Union's uh, space program to be able to launch things into orbit. And boom, the AN-225 was born. Indeed, it has it just, it just hold the longest cargo across the globe. It has hold the biggest cargo across the globe. And it is how it, it, it end its name. That's how it end the following that it, it has now. Uh, people marvel at this beast, which at first glance you think this thing won't take off. This thing won't leave the ground, but it did for a long time. It did every time it was sent to take off the ground. Every time there was, it was given full power, it would actually lift off the ground. So that's how the AN-225 gained notoriety, gained fame. But as of 27 February 2022, the Ukrainian government released a statement confirming indeed that the aircraft had been destroyed during an invasion by Russia at an airfield inside Ukraine. The company Antonov and uh, the government itself confirmed these things, confirmed these rumors after days and days of speculation because nothing was forthcoming uh, given that there's a war situation in, in Ukraine information was not forthcoming so there was so much rumor circulating within the aviation community about the destruction of the uh, of the Ukrainian uh, Antonov N225 until it was confirmed on 27 February 2022 the cycle of the N225 has come to an end but what's giving fans across the world hope is that the Ukrainian people, the Ukrainian government, is intent on rebuilding that AN-225. It's going to come back bigger, stronger, and better. As we await a new, bigger, better, improved Antonov AN-225 in the future, we keep our prayers and our minds on the people who've suffered, the people who continue to suffer, those who've lost their lives, those who've lost their families, those whose aviation pursuits in that territory have been devastated by the ongoing um, um, conflicts. Until next time, Angela Dubia, signing out at St. Chess.